Hi everyone, this is MB Kitchenette and welcome to my channel. MB Kitchenette is a place where you can find easy and healthy home-cooked recipe. To all my followers, thank you for being with me here once again. And to those who are new here, welcome to my channel and I hope that you learn and enjoy today's recipe. Today I prepare a well-known Filipino dish which is called Panchit Guisado. Write in the comment your name and the country you are watching my video to be able to thank you and greet you on my next video. To begin with, we need 10 grams of rice noodles, cut into a desired size, then soaked in water for minimum 10 minutes. This recipe is made for two persons. If you need to serve more, just adjust the ingredients. At the end of the video, I will thank and greet some of the few persons who continue watching my video. Make sure you finish the video, you might be the next person I greet and thanks. Cut 20 grams of chicken breast into cubes. With these, you can use any meat you like. Some put shrimps, pork meat, and some other parts of chicken. Your feedback help us grow. Write your views in the comment. Add few pieces of shrimps. Clean, remove the skins, and head then set aside. To Oscar of Dubai, Chelsea of UK, and Tobias of Canada, hello and thank you for watching. There are some few people I will greet at the end of the video. So continue watching, you might be in the list today. Chopped or minced two to three cloves of garlic. Garlic is a member of the lily family, along with onions, shallots, and leeks. It is a perennial plant of the amaryllis family, grown for its flavorful bulbs. Sliced half of a medium-sized onion. Also known as bulb onions or common onions, they are grown worldwide and are closely related to chives, garlic, scallions, shallots, and leeks. Commonly used as a flavoring or side dish, onions are a staple food in many cuisines. Slice and chopped spring onion and set aside, just like garlic and onion. Spring onion is one of the favorite ingredients in any kind of recipe. Spring onions are a variety of green onion or scallion, with a stronger flavor that packs a distinctive bite. They can be used in any recipes that call for green onions, ranging from salads to salsas, especially when cooks want an extra kick in their food. One stalk of celery cut into cubes. People typically either love the flavor of celery or hate it. A chopped celery stalk is considered a staple in various recipes, including stuffing, soups, and stews. Used fresh, it goes well with salads or as an appetizer, especially when dipped in ranch, honey mustard, or another type of salad dressing. Filled with peanut butter or cream cheese, it makes a healthful snack for children, combining vitamins and fiber with protein. Have a slice from a green bell pepper and yellow bell pepper. Bell pepper comes in variety of many colors, and the most popular inside is the green and red bell pepper. Every color has its own distinctive taste and vitamins and nutrients. Get a leaf from the cabbage since we don't need a lot. Remove the hard portion, then slice. Cabbage has wide variety from shapes, form, and color. Cabbage is a leafy green, red, purple, or white, pale green biennial plant grown as an annual vegetable crop for its dense leaved heads. It is one variety of the Brassica oleracea plant, which is related to broccoli, Brussels sprout, cauliflower, and kale. Different types of cabbage are grown for food, and cabbage leaf contains high amounts of vitamin K1, as well as other nutrients. For the flavor we need, a pinch of salt and pepper to taste one teaspoon basil, a pinch of coriander, a pinch of nutmeg, two teaspoon of soy sauce, and two teaspoon of oyster sauce. Make sure it mix well. From the mix ingredients, we get one and a half teaspoon. Add to the chicken and mix well. This way the chicken has flavor once we start cooking them. Get one teaspoon from the mix ingredients, then mix with the shrimps. In a heated pan with cooking oil, fry the chicken for two minutes. Don't overcook the chicken to keep its freshness, tenderness, and juiciness. Don't forget the kitchenware and kitchen utensils in the descriptions. You can always order or avail them anytime. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated. Put the chicken in one side of the pan, then add the shrimp. Then continue cooking for one minute. Then saute the garlic and onion. 
Just continue on cooking until the aroma from garlic and onion comes out. Shrimp is one of the most popular seafoods out there. It appears in a variety of dishes, from shrimp scampi to shrimp and grits. And what makes diving into a shrimp dish even more exciting? All the healthy shrimp benefits this seafood can offer. Let's take a look at them. Now add all the vegetables and add the rest flavoring. Mix for one minute, then remove from the pan and set aside. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to always be updated. I hope you can still follow the recipe. Write in the comment your views. Add one quarter cup of water. Use the cup in mixing the flavor ingredients. Then add the rice noodles. Keep on mixing, then add the pre-cooked vegetables. Don't put all at one time. It much be better to put the vegetables two to three times while mixing. And by this time, you can already turn off the heat. Pancit bihon guisado with rice noodles, meat, shrimp, and vegetables is sure to be a family favorite. Perfect for everyday meals and special occasions. The dish is often served on birthdays as the long noodle strands signify long life in Asian culture. I hope you learn and enjoy today's video. Have a happy, healthy meal. Hello, everyone. This is MB Kitchenette, and welcome to my channel. MB Kitchenette, a place where you can find easy, healthy, home-cooked recipe. To all my followers, thank you for your continued support, and to those new here, welcome to my channel. Today, I prepare an easy, delicious, well-known Filipino dish, which is pancit palabak. Write in the comment your name and country to be able to greet and thank you to my next video. Don't forget to check the descriptions of this video where you can find kitchenware and kitchen utensils which are for sale. To begin, chop two to three cloves of garlic. Then chopped one medium size of onion to cut into cubes. Your feedback helps my channel grow. Write in the comment your views. If you don't like cutting onion because it tears you out, then wash it first before cutting. In a heated pan with cooking oil, saute the garlic and onion. Continue of stirring until the aroma comes out. Once the garlic and onion are saute, then add 100 grams of minced pork. Keep on stirring for two minutes or until the minced pork is cooked. For the flavors, we need one tablespoon of actuate powder, one half tablespoon of salt, one half teaspoon of pepper, then mix well. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to always updated. Don't forget to check the description of this video where you can see those kitchenwares and kitchen utensils that are for sale. If you buy from those kitchen utensils, it's a way of helping this channel to continue. Make video recipe. Now the minced pork is done. We can remove it from the pan and set it aside. In the other side from the kitchen, since the shrimps are already clean, we just remove the shell or skin. To Ameth of Canada, Oscar of Dubai, Nohor of Pakistan, Marlin of Philippines, thank you for your continued supports in my channel. Once the shrimps are clean, add a pinch of salt and pepper and one teaspoon of oyster sauce. Mix well, then fry and set aside. I hope you can still follow the recipe. Actually, this recipe is just easy, but it needs a lot of steps to do it. But once you do it at least one time, it will be simple already. Just one tip, 
prepare first all the ingredients before you start cooking it. Now we can remove the shrimps and set them aside. Next step, in a saucepan add one quarter cup of flour, one tablespoon of achouette powder, one quarter tablespoon of pepper and a pinch of salt. Using whisker mix all the ingredients. Then add one cup of water while continue mixing it. Don't put the water at one time, but put it three to four time while mixing. Then put it into a heat and still continue mixing it. Don't let it along because the flour will easily separate from the water. It will easily submerge down and burn the bottom of the saucepan. Continue on stirring while cooking. This may take three to five minutes. Once the mixture is thickened, then you can turn off the heat and still continue mixing for another one minute. In a bowl with water, have a 10 grams of rice noodles. You can cut it into two. Then let it soak for 10 minutes. We can start boiling a cup of water in a saucepan. Once the water start boiling, add the rice noodles and let it cook for two minutes. The most important with this recipe is the sauce. It is the sauce that carries the flavors and taste of the whole recipe. Now put the noodles into the boiling water for two minutes. Pancit palabak is a traditional Filipino dish consisting of thin rice noodles doused in a creamy shrimp-infused sauce and complemented with various toppings such as hard-boiled eggs, pork cracklings, shrimps, pork, fish flakes, and scallions. As toppings add first the sauce, then the minced pork, some pork chicharron, shrimps, scallions, and the hard-boiled egg. Pancit palabak with rice noodles, flavorful shrimp gravy, and assorted toppings makes a delicious midday snack or main meal and is sure to be a family favorite. Perfect for gatherings and special occasions. Once again, to Ameth of Canada, Oscar of Dubai, Nohor of Pakistan, and Marlin of Philippines, thank you for watching and hope to see you again in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to always updated. Have a happy, healthy meal. Hello everyone, this is MB Kitchenette and welcome to my channel. MB Kitchenette is a place where you can find easy, healthy, home-cooked recipe. To all my followers, thank you for being here once again. And to those who are new here, welcome to my channel. Today I prepare a very well-known Filipino dish which is called Pancit Canton. Just like Pancit Bihan Gisado and Pancit Palabak. Pancit Canton is easy to prepare and being served in any occasions. Write in the comment your name and the country where you are watching my video. And I will thank you and greet you on my next video. Don't forget to check the descriptions of this video where you can find kitchenwares and kitchen utensils which are for sale. I hope you find them suited to your kitchen. To begin, we need to chopped or mince two to three cloves of garlic. Don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video for you to always be notified. Then slice one medium size of red onion. We need one piece of carrot, which is cut diagonally. Your feedback helps my channel to grow. Write your views in the comment. Cut one stalk of celery. In this recipe, it's the celery that brings a delightful flavor and aroma to the dish. Have a slice from a red bell pepper and green bell pepper and cut then into square. What is good with this dish is just the ingredients can always be found in every ordinary kitchen. Since this recipe is good for a single serving, I just get one leaf from a cabbage. If you need to serve more, then adjust the ingredients. Maybe then you can cut the cabbage in the middle and cut into square. This recipe is made as easy for you to follow. 
Write your views in the comment. Have 200 grams of chicken breast and cut into cubes. Just a hint. If you are cutting chicken or any kinds of meat, try to cut them as much as possible of same size. This way, they are all cooked of same time. In a heated pan with vegetable oil, saute the garlic and onion. Keep on stirring while cooking until the aroma comes out. Then add the chicken and continue cooking for two to three minutes. Never let the chicken overcook, or else it removes the tenderness and juiciness of the chicken. Once the chicken meat turns into white, then add the carrots and celery. Again, continue on cooking while stirring for about one minute, then add a cup of water. For the flavors, add one half teaspoon of salt, a pinch of pepper, one teaspoon of soy sauce, two teaspoon of oyster sauce. Wait until it starts to boil, then add the bell pepper and cabbage. After one minute, add 10 grams of pancit cant and noodles, or I just fold a cup with the noodles as my measuring cup. Just dipping it down into the sauce until it becomes soft, then continue on mixing, and by this time you can turn off the heat. Filipino pancit canton is the perfect one-pot meal for family dinners or special occasions. Made with wheat noodles and assorted meat and vegetables, this noodle stir-fry is hearty, tasty, and sure to be a family favorite. Filipino cuisine has many types of stir-fried noodle dishes, but although meat and vegetable add-ins are mostly similar, the kind of noodles used vary. A few of the varieties we have are baihon made of rice noodles, sotangan, or cellophane noodles made of mung bean starch, and pancit canton, which are wheat noodles. To all my viewers from Germany, USA, Philippines, and Pakistan, hello there. And I hope you enjoy and learn from today's recipe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to always notify on my next video. Have a happy, healthy meal.